Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy TJ Blaze, and we back. Y'all see the time on my back that I got <laughs> the brief and stuff like that. Oh, that was old bars. I was just rhyming for no reason. That's crazy. This is part five. Now, let's see what the objective is, because I got to still do this monorail station. Reactivate the monorail station to escape the base. Power the airlock to reach the control center. All right. I would definitely do that. Need that. I'll do them jumps. Jump. Look at that. I need that. Right. Oh, man. Let's see that. I can't go outside. Let's see. Warren astronaut suit. Wow, relatively close to the high-back faculty. A red cradle base. Make Ryan Hall Station hard to reach. Whatever mean of transportation Sarah had to try had tried to use, the grimy mark of the of her wider suit indicated that she had to make the final stretch on feet. See, I know I was about to mess up because I'm about to read fast. So I gotta slow it down, I gotta slow it down. I just probably gotta change that. I can drop that. Oh, I probably put this in. This is fresh. Wow. No, 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 no. I'm pushing that, man. We can do that. That's what I was trying to do. Pressing the wrong button and stuff. Show the blue light. Yeah, come on. I never, no, no, no. Let me get back. I know this right gotta go somewhere. Hold on. Let me drop that real quick. Close to it, can't like come on now. Ah, yeah, let me get me. Thank you, thank you. I went a little difficult to use and stuff. Give me that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Grab this, see where it's going. Circles, okay. I did that now. All right, over there. And I gotta be careful because of that. So, this is some BS. Yes. Yes. shot. Yep. It gotta be something. Well, let's see. Go over here, use this.
cash, and I guess I'm not open it. I gotta press the button. See, the thing is, I'm supposed to go through here, though. This is not right. Okay, I see. Now, keep that inside, right? Press it again. Now I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Simple. I don't know why they clicked to me faster than that. Right. Passes right on cradle stations. Statics at the control center. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Better, that's better. My reading be so poor sometimes. I just watched what's going on. Any word from EVAC crew one or MacArthur? Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moon Hill with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. Uh -huh. Hopefully, I, hopefully I get caught up. On the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for EVAC. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. We can do it at your six control center. I have eyes on him. I shall see. I'll take care of this. Yeah, you know you got it. Out of the blue. While the events of the Copernicus are posed on fold, like our the second hour task force reaches Renholm Crater Base. Upon arrival, it appears that they can't leave. The monorail station has gone offline. For unknown reason, unable to communicate with the first task force. And well, with only little time left to complete their mission, they split up to secure the objective recorded. 22 September 2054, five hours before the blackout. Tea Party, in spite of WSA efforts to reduce the mental and physical burden of the lunar colonists to acceptable levels, not all colonists were left untouched by the condition of the moon, the events at the hydrogen, and the solitary resistance at the moon seem to left a mark on the base operation line. That's deep right there. Let's see what's happening. Uh, whoever reading this, find me. I didn't go crazy like these guys. Oh, uh, Sarah. She didn't go crazy like these guys. Are we sure about that? Are you sure about that, Sarah? Let's say to attack and boss. Got control over here. I will attack right here. And I gotta do one more line. Open, let's go. Let's see what's going on with the uh, objective now. Direct power to MPT pillar by line. MPT pillar. Okay. Mm, let's see what this is about. Hey, hey, you there. A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the tracks powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. It's a hey, come in. I got bad news. So I'm kind of different words like huge and this and that. Hygiene. No, just a nut job. 
Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? If the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. We'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sands are rough out here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. All right. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what this guy found. That is. One floor. Make Arthur's second task force find out the monorail station and right now the crater base has been actively sabotaged. I'm not sure to make it to the moon hub before the secretive outward launch. The task force officer discover another way out of the base where while the rambler operator mother gets very serious to herself, we do my function and know the council. Quarter 22nd, September 2054. Four hours before the blackout. Oh, man. The story just keeps getting interesting and interesting. I mean, interested. I don't know why I'm saying the word. No, no, let's see what else. I thought I told you, y'all gotta bear with me with my reading. It's just a little offhand. Yeah, I'll be having my days, man. What are these? For real? They can't be for communication. We already had radar communication. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. All the unexplained shipments of material near on three, like with three, void and all that. Probably like why. See, now there's just a lot of questions. Why this is going over there? Why the hydrogen and the helium, all that stuff, going over there? Hmm. We're going to find out. Edgar's hunch. Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of the huge malfunction, Reynold, operator Edgar Davis, has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rose of Earth for the huge Christly malfunction and establishing suspicious link with the Lunar Council activities and the disappearing of Helium Negative 3. Oh, God. I feel like I started to hate reading. I love, I love to read. Uh, get out of here. Oh, uh, here we go, no oxygen, yeah. Look at these little jumpy jumps, man. Oh, I can't even see that. Stung by a scorpion, they took my map, but only I know the way for the beetle to cross. Cowards. Yeah. Somebody has some hatred towards somebody. All those people. I'm gonna be all out. Alright, I guess we're gonna be driving again. Whoa. Hey, hold up, hold up. Oh, snap. Yo, why the car not moving, though? Yo, that had me lost, Bob, because I wasn't doing that. <laughs> I was lost for a minute. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Alright, let's go. So I think I gotta drive to this one first. I don't know how for. Okay, I just, I just silent. Because he know you're not gonna hear nothing. No noise out there. Let's go. 
was it before? That means somebody came here. Oh, what happened? I just I pressed it already. What bug was that? Like a little bug or a glitch or something. Do that moonwalk, moonwalk, moonwalk. Let's get it. Let's get it. Heavy because the way down patrol and how it moves and moves so slow.
I don't think it's about to get real. Kind of remind me of Stray a little bit too, even though this came out before Stray. But it's whole yeah, you know. No talking, nothing. Oh, you only got a couple of, got a couple of seconds. What? Hurry up! Yo, we gonna run. Get that, get that, get that, get that. <laughs> We gotta make it there, we gotta make it back. Okay. Jump. Jump. Evac 2 to Evac 1 come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover, since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac 1, come in. Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know. Just for the fuel. Helium 3. The ticket out of here. You stranded us here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. <laughs> Simply a flake of the switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. ASEL 30. Don't. Activate crowd control protocol. No! Ah! Evacuated? No, 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 this can't be right. They can't just leave. The colony will fail Yo, without them. What? That's getting the hell out of me. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? How can they be so Tombo reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know. I know I'm alone. Tombo reactor capacity at ten percent. It's still going. Alex, we have to go. This is this would make things right. 
We could fix this. We can fix this. <sighs> okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. You'll make it, Sarah. Sarah. I'll find you. Wow. Are we finally about to be done? That can't be it. I was about to say. Ground control to Fortuna One. I'm not sure if you're still there. The dust storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell, but we're at the end of the line, Wolf. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could. I wish I could help you. Travel soon. So lost. What in the world, man? I don't even know how to look up there. So I know the days that you're ready to relax, man. It will be definitely worth it. Huh? <laughs> wow. 
Excavation machine. When Dr. LaRue delivered joined the WSA, she committed herself to one second goal, developing a sustainable energy source for Earth. To that end, to complete the amount of family negative degree harvest from excavated moon rocks made for outstanding fuel, still it will take a year to develop a reactor that will efficiently process the energy of negative degree, only then to conserve energy be transmitted to MPT. I just killed my time. Let's go back there. Get that repo. Get that repo. As for that, this will be the end of the video. I will definitely continue it right after this. <laughs> I think it sounds like a commercial, but I'll see y'all in the next one. Man. All right, peace.